are gonna be making a candy drawing and we're gonna be drawing um, um, bags and pieces of candies from four different angles. One of the best ways to do this is to find an image. So you can either Google search an image or you can actually, if you have the bag of candy at home, you can have it in front of you and look at it. I just printed out a copy here. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna be drawing it from four different angles. And so on your paper, you have a couple of choices. You can either take and draw each one on each separate paper, or you can take and you can separate it out and draw it out on this paper. I would recommend if you're using smaller paper, draw out four different ones just because if they get too small, it's kind of hard to do the detail. So if I'm gonna draw a Skittles bag, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at my object and I'm gonna try drawing it out. Now when you draw it, we wanna to try to make it as 3D as possible. So even though it's plastic, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you get all of those like little lines and the dents and the edges of it so that it looks realistic. So this one is open. So it would show that it's open. Now we're gonna add in the extra parts here like the seams for the end and you can do things that show like the wrapper that is bending so it's not just flat. Um, the edges here too are out like this. Then you can do this side as well. Okay, now the edges, especially the end edges of this, have like kind of a sharp little point. The idea is to look really, really closely at your drawing so that you can add in all the details. One of the things about candy drawings is there's a lot of extra writing and there's a lot of extra small things on it. You don't have to incorporate all of those extras if you don't want to, just the basics so that you can understand what it's supposed to look like. Because otherwise, if you tried doing all the nutrition facts and everything else, that would take you forever. Okay, so now that I have that on there, then I'm gonna figure out where the wording is gonna go. So the wording takes up the whole entire thing and part of the S gets cut off at the end. So when I go to do this, what I always like to do is just draw out the letters like I would regularly. So kind of sideways here, just basic letters. And then I'm gonna go through and I will make them bubble letters. Now obviously it, every candy is gonna be different how they make their bubble letters. So try to do as best you can. Um, I just noticed on mine that these go up like this. So you wanna to try to get that as close to po as that is possible. Um, the K on the Skittles goes up higher than the other portion does. So we wanna make sure we can incorporate that. And then so on, you'll go through your picture and you will write in your letters. Once you have the letters in, then you're gonna start incorporating in some of the pictures. And unfortunately in this picture, you can't see it very well, but there are other Skittles up here. So what I can do is I could start making the circles to show where the Skittle would be. Some of them are overlapping. Um, I believe that's actually supposed to be a Skittle, looking like it's kind of ripping through the paper. I can incorporate some of these other things at the bottom that makes it look more like the wrapper. So I could have this down here and I could eventually do my numbers in here, the 250, um, different things like that. Now, over on this other side, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start drawing out what the actual Skittles would look like if they were coming out of the bag. So it would be drawing, obviously drawing the Skittles. Now, one of the things about this is they don't look very three-dimensional when I'm just drawing out these circles. When you go to color them, you're gonna use the color blending um, technique with the colored pencils, and it's gonna make it look like it actually has a 3D dimension to it, and it's gonna have that kind of a neat shine to it. Um, and that's what's gonna make them look more realistic. So don't get worried if when you're doing your drawing that it doesn't look as realistic as you had hoped for. Now obviously on my picture, I'd have to incorporate the rest of the drawing in it. And then when I go to color, I wanna make sure that I figure out where the light is hitting so that I have darker colors here and, and lighter on the other side. 
When you go to color your candy, you do not have to use realistic colors. I could col color the Skittles bag any color I want, um, but the main focus is, is just to look at the object and try to draw it out. One of the examples I have is I started with um, a bag of Starburst. And so I drew out the Starburst, and this one is not completed yet, but I wanted you to see with color blending how it kind of works. So it's light and dark. So even though the bag of Starburst is red, I incorporated orange in there because if you add in another color, it'll make it look like the light's hitting it. Same with here, I have some spots that I just kind of left um, with white on it so it looked like the light was hitting it. Notice everything on here is three-dimensional the way I drew it, um, just like it is on the bag. Uh, the next one I drew is some up close of just the actual candies. Um, I also made those three dimensional and made them look just like the candies. Like I had said, you wanna make sure that you have each of these images in front of you or the actual item. It's gonna make it a lot easier to draw in the end. Um, another one I did is just the main long one of the Starburst. Um, and then obviously I have the edges like I did in the other drawing. Um, and then I have some of the things that I incorporated but not everything. And then the last one is a partial bag with some of them coming out. So you can decide kind of which angles you would like to do. You do not have to do all the same candies. They can each uh, angle can be something completely different. They can be bags of candy, boxes of candy, however you would like to do it. But the main goal is to make it try to look as realistic as possible to the actual bag, maybe not in color, but the actual like design and everything that they had incorporated and then make sure that it's shaded with colored pencil correctly.